Welcome back and let's continue working on this I-beam that we imported from SOLIDWORKS as a 3D geometry then we defeatured it and mid-surfaced it. If you're interested how those things were done check out the previous video and here we're gonna go ahead and mesh, apply boundary conditions, loads and uh, do an analysis on it. Okay, let's get started. We left off right after mid-surfacing and we deleted the original geometry so we can be left only with this mid-surfaced I-beam right if you look right exactly from the side you can tell that they are nice skinny sheets that's all we need so next let's add materials and properties for this right here model material I'm gonna add I don't know material one Oh, let's press the escape instead of model material material one. There you go. Okay, so isotropic. Leave it alone. Here, let's put uh, let's say seventy e nine Poisson's ratio point three three, and that's good enough for us. There you go. We don't need any other materials, just that one. Now we're going to go ahead and enter some properties for our setup. Right here, pick the material, material 1. It'll, it would show more if you had entered other ones, but since we entered only one, that's the only one we have. The material, pick uh, the element property type. We're going to work with a plate. Right here, plain element, plate click OK and thickness right here let's put a 0 0.1 OK there you have it cancel oh I should have given a name to it let's see go find it see here's the material material 1 properties I didn't give it the name so it automatically gave it the name by itself so let's click on it edit I wanna name it my plate. There you go. And OK. And good. Next up, let's do our meshing. First, we're gonna seed the uh, geometry and then we're gonna actually mesh it. So go to mesh, mesh control, and size on surface. There you go. I'm gonna pick all the surfaces, highlight it if you wanna make sure what's selected here you go and here we can uh, pick what kind of element size we want I'm just gonna leave the uh, default one click OK there you go you can see all the little dots see those are the seeds that we uh, applied cancel this out and now we can go ahead and actually do the meshing so back to mesh geometry this time go to surface select all there you go all of them are selected okay here make sure if you have more than one select the appropriate one I have only one property that we set up the my plate I'm gonna select it and go ahead okay and now we can see that the meshing is complete now this is a horrible mesh this one is very coarse and even if you look at the circles they are like more like pentagons or something you know doesn't even really resemble a circle but for the purposes of us learning the process it's just fine so if you wanted to really mesh this with uh, and have much better results you would have to do a much finer uh, mesh on this one where uh, the element size that we picked make it smaller and more of them would be applied and you would get better results. That's just one of the tips that you could do to have a better mesh. We'll have uh, uh, different videos on mesh quality and meshing, then, but for this one it's just fine. Next up, let's see if we want to visualize what we have. We go to view, visibility, and if we look at the mesh section, right, that's our mesh, we can click elements and then all the uh, identity numbers of each element will show up if you want to 
show the nodes each node it has its own identity again right there you go each one can be shown we can turn the nodes off maybe we'll leave the elements on what you say good very good there you go yeah quite a bit quite a bunch of them huh Alrighty, let's go ahead and apply our load and boundary conditions so for boundary condition i'm gonna constrain on one side i'm gonna make it uh, let's say completely fixed so constraint and go on on curve i'm gonna say boundary conditions bc and here i'm gonna pick the curves let's see i'm gonna pick this one this one and this one three curves right highlight it those are the ones that i'm good okay see this one uh, i'm gonna say left side left side i'm gonna fix them that means i'm zeroing all of these options out okay there you go and cancel that's it that's all the options that i want and yep there you go so and next let's do our load go to model load and let's apply a pressure on top of this surface so load on surface what is that let's see pressure okay i'm gonna pick the plate that i want to apply to that i'm gonna pick the top one highlight it we can see it good that's what we want all right call this uh, I don't know, top pressure, top P, there you go. All right, we already have pressure already selected here. Good, anything else we need? Oh yeah, well, let's give it a value, huh? So let's say uh, maybe 10, okay. Cancel it out, we don't need to see that. And as you can tell, look at all the nice little arrows showing us that there's a pressure applied to the top of our high beam good and see on top it says even the uh, magnitude control Q you can either turn it off turn it on there you go we don't want anything we want to have them um, it's up to where is it uh, pressure down here see yeah, pressure that's all we have now and pressure and let's uh, display our constraints as well those are on the other side see everything is fixed so we have an F on all of them right done that's all we want to see and I think we are ready to run our analysis right let's go up to model analysis click on new analysis call it I don't know what uh, one two three we're gonna leave it in one static right here analysis type and click OK go up here analyze let the solver do its thing and hopefully it's not gonna show up with some error and it's gonna tell us that everything was completed just fine there you go is complete that's the magic word that we wanted to hear okay there you go this is where we started and if we want to see how it ended up after the pressure was applied see these icons up here this is original this one off to the pressure BAM wow that thing got crushed alrighty very good I like it and if you wanted to like like a little uh, animation there you go you can have it dance around good all right let's put it back to this one now let's post process it and uh, do some visualization of our results let's go up to view and select an options right these are our post processing best friends so I'll click on select right now let's do deform and contour deform and contour data and down here let's pick uh, the one misses and uh, display it on our uh, diagram where is it where is it uh, plate top max shear stress plate top one Mises stress there you go let's display that one okay there you go let's turn this guy off right here now you can see it better what's going on on top mm, 
Okay, push F5, it brings this back up. Uh, deform, let's see, instead of this one, let's take a look at total translation. We have a lot of translation happening right at this end, right? So let's visualize it, see, over here, which if you even put this one, you can tell the numbers get bigger and bigger as we come towards here, right? There you go, numbers bigger and bigger. And uh, also, you know that uh, by default, uh, Femap displays the results on a scale of ma um, magnified by 10, right? So this is uh, the 10 times the actual deformation of our result. If you want it more close to reality, put 1. See, there you go. Now you can tell a more real displacement, but uh, default by default, always it's a 10. Sometimes even 10 is not enough and we can we need to make it bigger so we can make uh, more than 10 and, and wow look at it <laughs> you can you can see quite a movement let's make it dense there you go all right and there's some other visualizations that you can uh, take a look at if you want but I think we got the idea for this video okay just one more time make sure we understand that this result is complete garbage this does not resemble reality whatsoever. We have a horrible mesh and it not even behaving normally. They, we have mesh penetrations and all kind of chaos happening because we did not take care of the mesh properly. Meshing and how we deal with it will come in uh, further lessons further down the road in other tutorials. So make sure you go and check those out. But uh, right now this is just to learn the software, how it works, what kind of steps we need to go through to get something analyzed, okay? So, thank you for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and tune in for the next one. Have a great day!